you. What up? Alright, um, so, uh, we got season three of An Idiot Abroad. Hmm, okay, okay. This has been quite a journey, man. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. You know, Carl, you know, has become a character that, you know, a a character, a person (laughs) that I've become to love. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. He's a legend. Yeah, man. (laughs) Truly. So, 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 what we got, man? What we got? This is Idiot Abroad Season 3, Episode 1. This is Venice. 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 I don't know he's never been to Venice, okay. or at least in the past uh, seasons. Okay. Venice is in, uh, the, let me be wrong, correct, Italy? I believe. I believe okay. so. Okay. 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 Beautiful place. It's in Europe. Yeah. Yeah, definitely Europe. All right, man. Well, let's, let's see how he does with this. You ready? Yes. I don't think this is a bucket list. It's not a bucket list. I don't know if this is a bucket list. Okay. So, season three, this is the moaning of life? No, this no, is not. Okay. This is um, the morning of life is like another. Uh, okay, series. okay, okay, okay. This is season three of uh, Idiot Abroad. Okay, just of Idiot Abroad. Yeah. Okay. Well, let's go, man. I'm ready. All right. Yeah. Marco Polo, one of the world's greatest explorers. In the Marco 13th Polo. century, he embarked on an epic journey through Venice. Where the historic to game came from. Took over three years Marco. To complete. Now, <laughs> Polo. Marco. Marco. Polo. Yeah. Steps. This time he's got a little company. <laughs> 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 uh, yeah, people. That's what you call it. Okay. He meant me, but I've said. Oh, that's what. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Uh, are those really pants? Carl pandas? whinges all the time. He's doing the heavy. He's treating him like a holiday. He says he doesn't want to be nature. This is going to be weird. <laughs> Warwick never says no. It'd it take on a challenge. Tease the camera. Tease the camera. Now do a little bit from Oliver. Oh my god! Is that a circus? Yeah. Whoa. What is he about to do? Is he bungee jumping? No. Why would he bungee jump up there? This is gonna be right. weird. Thank you for it's signing up for another adventure. I don't know. You're yeah. gonna take the Marco Polo route. Started all off one of the most famous explorers of all time. And he went from Venice through Europe, Asia. Wow. And you're gonna end up in China. Okay. I remember telling you when Dick Whittington walked to London, that he had a cat with him, his cat. And you went, why take a cat, right? Take a little mate. I didn't mean a little mate. <laughs> I meant take a mate. <laughs> take someone who can help you. Bring something with them. Oh, hang on. Whoa. Uh, so what are you saying? That I'm not going to bring anything to the party? <laughs> I've never seen a dwarf go on a round-the-world trip uh. on any programme. Reynolds <laughs> Pines, whatever his name is, when he climbed Everest. He didn't say, here's my little mate I brought. <laughs> if I'm being honest, no, if we're being honest, though. But, Carl, because what, what, you, what you don't... What, what's, what's his height got to do with it? Yeah. I just think you're going to be a hindrance. Oh, oh this is really bad. Uh, Normally, uh, uh, these things Carl. Are the All I've had to do is worry about myself. Yeah. I don't mm-hmm. have that many mates. I don't think I need them. <laughs> and maybe that's part of what's worrying me. That you're like a little sort of limpet hanging on, dragging me back. <laughs> that's how it feels. <laughs> Limpet. Well, that's something that's just clinging on a stag beetle, a leech, taking from yeah, it. Like leech. That would be insulting. A stag beetle, a leech. He's a nigger in something. Sucking your blood, taking my energy because you're going. Can you carry this? Can you carry that? Be fine. It's not fine. I tell you what, I want that little bit on my phone with you going. I'll be fine. So that when you're shitting out a lung, I can go. Remember that? I'll be fine. That's what worries me. He hasn't got a clue. It's not a leech. It won't be fine. <laughs> He's like, I've been there, done this for two seasons. He's not going to be fine. He's not going to be fine. He's like, I'm going to be carrying this stuff. (laughs) Uh, Oh, damn. Oh, this is weird. You know, I don't think I've ever seen a little person. This is where we started it. (laughs) (laughs) You'd soon get sick of it, though, wouldn't you? It's a town made for mermaids. You know what I mean? It's just a hassle. <laughs> yeah, but if you lived here, it wouldn't be a hassle because it's part of your life and you realise when you want to get from there to there, you either jump on a gondola or you walk up to a bridge and cross. 
That's a lot of work, though. I don't think I can live like that. Stop swimming about. I'll go across the street. Uh, 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 yeah. uh, it was some sort of swimming grub type thing, and it grew up into people. Now, I don't know how old this place is, but it suited us more back then. It doesn't work, this living like this. It's not. No, it, works. it doesn't work living <laughs> <laughs> It doesn't it's work. It's been here for hundreds of years. Damn, hundreds of years, okay. They Where live on the water. Just keep going straight. No, it's not otherwise. Well, I don't know, option. Like Pac Man. <laughs> it's like Pac Man. Damn. It's like You're the fire alarm's gone off and everyone's just hanging about. They've come to see this. St. Mark's Square. It's beautiful. Never heard of it. Right? This was the centre of it? culture and entertainment in Mark Europe. Square? You can just yeah, feel the, the energy. It's interesting how the human body was represented. The body hasn't changed, has it, from how it was then? It's just that they were probably more tanned because they all you know, walked about with the tackle out. <laughs> if you're walking about with next to now on all the time, you're going to make an effort to have a six pack. I've got a t shirt on, so I'm not bothered. No one's got any pets. Why do you think there should be pets? Just to cheer it up a bit. If there was a fat ginger cat sat in the corner, it would take the edge off someone being clubbed to death. <laughs> <laughs> this is the stuff memories are made of. Oh, man. That's Jesus good, is it? <laughs> <laughs> I tell you, that is going to get right on me tits if he continues this touristy thing he's doing. He's treating it like a holiday. It's not <laughs> Marco Polo did it. He won't stop in every five minutes feeding pigeons. He's an explorer. He's pissed off over there buying ice cream or postcards from me. He's left me with his bag. Fucking ice cream. It's going to take forever, isn't it? <laughs> this. Getting all the way to China. Got any ice cream? It's melted a bit. It's a long way. That's nice. Like vanilla. <laughs> yeah, I like vanilla, yeah. That was nice. We can't keep doing this, though. <laughs> I'm sort of wandering about, taking pictures and that. Because it's not me, this. Yeah, but I'm, I'm trying to open your mind and open your eyes a bit and to appreciate where we are and what we're doing. And so we do the pigeons, we get ice cream, Italian ice cream. We do the pigeons. I've never heard anyone turn about at Venice. What for to do the pigeons? We've got them in Trafalgar Square. No, I'm starting to think I'm here with the wrong person, to be honest. Do the I'm not pigeons. moaning on purpose, it's just. No, no. And you weren't to know, but I don't like this sort of setup. I mean, what's a lion doing up there with wings on? <laughs> if that was done today, you'd go, what's that shit? <laughs> Carl's being mean. <laughs> he is being mean. Damn. Well, he finally gets somebody to be mean to, because he was, you know, personally. Yeah, they was being mean to him. Are they sleeping That's in the sun? little person. They treat him like a kid. With a rose petals. What yeah. a lovely room. <laughs> He's got a nice room in the car. A girlfriend for the first time or something, you suddenly, this is it. I'm with her all the time. <laughs> it's when you find out what people are sort of, I like the little downfalls, the little irritating things that they do. Everything's exaggerated. <laughs> like honeymoons. Honeymoons shouldn't be after the wedding. You should do it before it, find out if you like each other. Uh, <laughs> I agree. <laughs> he had a nicer room than Carl. Oh, yeah. He had rose petals on the bed and shit. Hello, uh, this is your teacher checking in. Uh, yeah, so I saw you, uh, you just sat around and um, uh, if you need anything, give us a call. Let me know. Oh, no, he's talking to work. Let me know if you're not moaning enough, because that's what's funny. Um, if he's not complaining, we'll have to change that. <laughs> um, all right, see you soon. Bye. Are you looking forward to today? Yeah. Got some fun things I want to do. Um, I just want to show Carl sort of the idea of the masked wall and all of that sort of thing. And it's a tradition that goes back years. And, um, it gave people anonymity, and they could actually sort of live out their kind of alter egos behind these masks. And even nuns and, and priests would do it, and so they could sort of get away with things that they couldn't normally get away with, which I think is quite interesting. Masked wall. Yeah, this is it here. Fancy dress. There you go. <laughs> Dressing up. Masks. 
So uh, choose your character. Oh, I hate this sort of thing. Why? Because it's, it's really forced fun. The idea is, right, people never had any sort of anonymity. So to give them that, they would wear the mask and they could become somebody else, another persona. Everyone did this. It's not Everybody just Everybody did it. Everyone got involved. Yeah, that hats look good on me, don't they? <laughs> <laughs> that actually like doesn't do a lot for me, that one, to be honest, but... Hang on, they knew you were coming. Uh -huh. <laughs> 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 now that's funny, that's cheered me up. Well, that's you wearing it, not me. That suits you, it totally changes you. Honestly. <laughs> <laughs> I want to find the one that's, um, it's like the, the plague doctor. He had a huge nose. So the doctor would wear something like that? Well, yeah. So you go in for a serious checkup and you go, he, he comes out. <laughs> I don't know where you're doing that <laughs> when you're Mr. Checkup. Davis, listen. You've got cancer of the bollocks. <laughs> I don't want to, I don't want bad news from someone like this. It's me up, though, isn't it? I don't feel so bad about that now. Hello, good morning. It's a lovely <laughs> shop you have here. Oh, thank you. We are going to a uh, masquerade ball tonight, uh -huh. and um, we need to have the appropriate outfits. Sure. Oh, my God. Uh, this <laughs> is more simple, more silent. Oh, this one is nice, too. It's a joker. This is great, this. It's yes. a clown. <laughs> it's a suit. Yeah. It's a clown suit. But don't try and wear it like a smart suit. You've got to wear it as the character. You're not holding it right now, Carl. That's what <laughs> I'm not comfortable when I play all the characters that uh, I play. You keep oh, mentioning uh, that as if you've done loads of stuff like you've done loads Shakespeare, you've dressed up as a bear in Star Wars. A <laughs> <laughs> green gnome in something else that you're always going about. Hang on, okay, think about the bear in Star Wars. In Star Wars. Yeah, it's a type yeah. of masquerade, isn't it? I was uh, hidden in there and I could fully explore the character of the Ewok. This is when it gets silly now. I was happy with the jacket. That's ruined it as far as I'm concerned. <laughs> I look like a spirit. Let yeah. I me mean, do you prefer. Pierre? Oh! And what mask would I wear? The white and black. And what does that say to people? The message is um, the dreamer, man. Dreaming? That's Dreaming. more me. That's more me. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> okay. Black and white. Uh. He got a teardrop. <laughs> well, I am, you see. That's but hold your body, tell. just, oh, That's no sympathy. Get the sympathy from <laughs> the lady. No. no, not a fucking hell. No, just... Oh, Jesus. No, that's that's annoyed. <laughs> just be sympathetically sad. Just, oh, literally. Yeah, look. Oh, your oh. head to one side. <laughs> <laughs> what are you going as? Yeah, Casanova. Uh, Casanova. Yeah. Yeah. Casanova. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Uh, <laughs> Casanova. <laughs> you look I don't really see. I'm in a city where it's like 90% water. <laughs> I'm in a canal. Oh, okay. Okay. And the hat. Guess Yeah. Yeah, but you're gonna keep that up all night, walking around like that. Dude. Stand aside, peasant. <laughs> no, I can't do with this. You've been doing me heading already without you walking around swanning about like this. Honestly, uh, I'm not on a full uh, night of that. Idiot, though. I know. Look at it. Madame, <laughs> may I have this dance? Definitely not. <laughs> ah, this is <really> nice. <laughs> You're looking forward you to the party, to Casanova? No, not really. <laughs> I'm being honest. Ah, not at all. Yeah, that was the most. It's what Warwick wants, isn't it? <laughs> the moment it seems, you know, what Warwick wants, <sighs> Warwick gets. There's <laughs> a lot of arsing about. I don't want to be someone else. I've been me for 39 years. It's the point of having a night off from me. I'm quite happy being me. Warwick's an actor. That's what he does. Who is the real Warwick? What does he like, really? He's dressed up as a bear in Star Wars, a grim goblin, and something else. Someone shouted Willow at him the other day. I don't know what he played in that. You can get guaranteed some sort of little troll under a bridge or something. I didn't know he was in Chaka's Guide. He was in that. I didn't know. The way he goes on saying, oh, yeah, people recognise me. And I, I, did, I did not know. He could have been in 3, 2, 1 in that bin. I don't know. I don't know what he's done. But the point is, you never see his face. He uh, keeps going on as if he's a proper actor. I'll never, yeah. I'll never dress up as a goblin. 
Get Carl is me. Have a chat. Go on. Uh, I never went to a fancy dress party. Uh, all we need is a stag bill on the next boat. What's this? What are you doing with the shoes? It's fine, no one's looking at my feet. Of course they are. Cut everything I'm wearing. <laughs> Look, who's yeah, going to be looking at me? Where's Stan's out, though? It doesn't. Why am I sound there? It's not authentic now. <laughs> oh, remember dignity. Carl, give us a hand. Oh, wow. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, he can't get up. Uh, he said, Carl, uh, remember uh, dignity. Uh, <laughs> he can't get up. <clears throat> give me a hand. Thank you very much. <laughs> Just with your attitude. Yeah. Our guest. You alright? Since what the hell? <laughs> Madame. 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 They about to have a word. Hello. Hello. <laughs> I'm a dream weaver. It's like eyes yeah. wide shut. So, so how often do you dress up like this? You don't ask like that. <laughs> <laughs> characters with what they do. Uh uh, so, are you very different no, now? No, 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 no. Talk about <laughs> the room and the, the food and the, uh, the, the experience. Like. Venetian people uh, like to dress and do some um, game uh, to seduce uh, her, uh, her victims. Uh, it's so. Let them lower. Uh, yeah, yeah, it's yeah. you. It's like yeah, you. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know what's going on. Just awkward. It's like a, a, a sort of horrible come down with me. <laughs> no. I, I, I like it. It's just a bit laughing and a lot, having a good time in there. I tell you, I can't <laughs> wait to find someone out what I do that he's going to hate. I'll say, remember Warwick, dressed up as a knob for you that night. You do me a favour. <laughs> if you were a, if she was a nun, she would. No, 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 no. Maybe that's why you haven't got it. <laughs> That is kind of weird. I don't uh, know no, if I would like it. I had some pasta yeah, earlier. I'm quite careful, full. Yeah. yeah, yeah, I'm okay. Yeah, okay. Uh, he has to be sobbing when he's talking to people. Yeah, cheers. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Just have one drink yeah. and I'll probably get going because I have to be up early. <laughs> so he might stay, but I'll be shooting off. <laughs> Hello. All right. How's it going? Just doing my head in. It's exactly what I said to you at the start. He's treating it like a holiday. Uh, he's got like one of them little wig things on that judges wear and a little <laughs> outfit and got 5,000 miles to cover. He's sat here having canopies. What the hell? What's he dressed as? This is the girl that I gave you dressed as? I don't know, to be yes, honest. I don't know what it is. I don't know what it's meant to be. I've never seen it. I don't know what he's dressed as. Describe it to me. He's got a little judges wig on. Yeah. A, a red velvet jacket and but like a small Adamant. <laughs> Imagine Adamant as a kid. <laughs> You should see the looks we get. I was on a uh, gondola. People weren't <laughs> looking at the old buildings and all that. They were going, what is going on there? Uh, what is happening there? <laughs> they probably think you've got a, you're a businessman. You've got a weird fetish. Like Pretty Woman. <laughs> <laughs> oh, pretty Woman. <laughs> can make a game. An old-fashioned game? A Venetian? Yeah, of course, an old-fashioned. Casanova use it. Ah. Yeah? A pleasure <laughs> machine. Well, I don't know that it's more like Monopoly, isn't it? Uh, we want to be the first. Well, it's, it's his idea. <laughs> <laughs> he wanted to come to a party. Mm. Yeah. So, yeah. Warwick, so it's your go. Still. Yeah, definitely. I just want to have a bit of something to eat and drink. Well, we can. Let's both go in together, then. Oh, We're doing the trip together. Let's experience yeah, yeah, yeah. the pleasure Let's machine together. together. Oh, yeah, the pleasure machine. That's a bit weird, surely, isn't right, it? I pray you. Let's go in together with Jim Weaver. Put the blind... Uh, oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> you see me? No, okay. On the floor. So, give me your hand. Oh, wow. Give me your hand. Me. Does... Uh, don't worry. Ah, oh, this is sensory deprivation. So we both went in the pleasure machine. It's not a machine. It was a changing room. It was just a, a, a curtain. 
Close, relax. What the hell? She's starting. Wait. Go, go, go. No! It's my hat. Hmm. The parlor games were invented for people who aren't really friends. You've got nothing to talk about because you don't really oh know. Oh my them. god! <laughs> like at home, we have charades, don't we? Play Give Us a Clue or whatever. If you get the board game out, it's because the party's not going well. The garlic and the cheese and stuff. It was like having someone sort of breathing in my face. A stranger, a smelly stranger, breathing in my face. I was thinking, where, where's the where, where's the pleasure machine? Where's the pleasure? <laughs> I've experienced it. Uh, you haven't done. Uh, I don't know what he was having played with, but he was having pleasure. <laughs> yeah. He definitely wasn't in a rush to get out. Yeah, I'm relaxed. Uh, oh, I, don't I don't know what you want, what you say to touch. It's my hand. Uh, Just look after uh, me. Uh, I'll see you later. Oh. <laughs> 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 yeah, I nice. love the vibes though. What's that? There's <laughs> oh, a lot of hands. Jesus. <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh work. I told you, you're trying to have an orgy. That was some freaky shit. Ah, oh, yeah. Okay. In Venice. <laughs> oh, I'm just having shit. my bit of fun for today. Um, Warwick did what he wanted to do last night. Hang on a minute. Getting fumbled and all that lot. Um, Hang English. on a minute. <laughs> so today, yeah, I'm just having a go on like a jetpack. I've seen it on the oh, internet. Wait. Wear it on your yeah, back. Okay. You whiz along the sea. It's not used as a sea to push you in the air. It's like a superpower, it's close, the closest thing to flying. The problem with Venice is it's stuck in its ways. It's very old fashioned. The art, the buildings. Whereas <laughs> a jetpack is ideal. A water jetpack here, I don't know why they haven't used them. We're still messing about in gondolas. It's not practical. It's what this is about, isn't it? Showing the kids at home the future. Look at that. James Bond, isn't it? Oh shit, wow. damn. Trapped on that and flying high above the lagoon. Quite what I thought. gonna do that. This is really cool. I'm excited about this now. Hello. How's it going? All right, Ricky. Um, yeah, it's good. It's really going well, thanks. Today's a little bit different. There's so much more we could do in Venice, but we wanted to have a go at this water jetpack thing. Because he thinks it's the future. So he's been strapped into this contraption, which is actually quite a cool-looking device, but when he's strapped to it, it sort of takes anything away from it. <laughs> what are you talking about? So, uh, so he, he, actually, I think he's regretting it now. He actually looks terrified. Well, of course he is. He'll probably only did it. To do something that was his idea that he would enjoy more than you, but it'll backfire. That's it. Don't worry. That's it. See so, ya. Uh, I think we've got <laughs> everything. Just hit the end button. Okay. All right. I'll enjoy your time. Yeah. Cheers, Ricky. Thanks. Bye. All right. Slowly, slowly. <laughs> this is dangerous. Slowly. So he's pulling me back. Yeah. 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 Lower. Yeah. I thought you're just in the water and you give it that. I'm just not a good swimmer and I've got like fucking scaffolding strapped to me back. It's meant to be the future. Right. <laughs> not really, I don't want to do it. I thought it was going to be easier than this. Uh, Once you're in, it'll be fine. This is the hard <laughs> bit to get in. Yeah, it's weight. I can't freeze. They've got fucking polar neck on. I hate these. I can't. Uh... Well, would you rather be freezing cold? You're going to appreciate that. I don't that know, I'd just rather not be doing this. I don't know why I picked <laughs> you it. You booked it. thing again, I know. Don't annoy me. It's only one step. Uh, this is heavy. Okay. Hang on, let me just have a rest a minute. Where would you rather be now, in there or in the pleasure tent? Right <laughs> <laughs> back, just relax. Okay. Oh. Yes. 
so undignified. Roll it, roll it. Carl, how do you feel? Excited? You gotta get get up in the water like this. Stand straight. Yeah, just be a straight up and down. Your legs are full of air. <laughs> you want? Your legs are full of air. Just lean forward. Just lean forward <laughs> and try and... I love the fact that he's snooping yeah, himself with this. This is his idea. I'm having problems putting my legs down. Just lean forward. One, two, three. Uh, no. Uh, uh, right. <laughs> okay, now just relax. You feel calm? Okay. All right, so you ready then? Hit the button. Uh, just try to keep yourself balanced. Now roll over in your belly. Roll over. Quick. <laughs> What the hell? Is he drowning? Put it off! Roll over! <laughs> you alright? No, forget it. I couldn't control it. You just gotta throw your weight back and roll over. No, forget it. I'll get the water with you want. Not worth it. This isn't ready yet. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Science again, it. How's this got made? I've seen people on the dragons, then we more useful stuff. This is fucking death trap. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'll smile, I'll get a nice picture of you with Venice. For being <laughs> what are you doing? He's dying. Uh, he's 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 dead. 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 <laughs> this is not ready. It's just pull ready the yet. ball. Pull the ball. <laughs> just pull the ball and you'll come out of the jetpack. Uh -huh. no, he said the pull. Just pull it. It's not coming off. I'll tell you what, once it's off, put it in the fucking bin. Shit. Pull the yellow cord out. The yellow cord. Pull in the yellow cord. No, the yellow, the yellow one. There's only the yellow cord. Then you pass. Yeah. Okay, wait a second. I'll bring you home. I'll bring you home. I'll bring you home. I'll bring you home. I'll bring you See again, it's me picking things. I don't know what I want in life. <laughs> I pick that. I've got no one else to blame. I'm not a great swimmer. I, I couldn't get out of it. I saw my life flash before me. Uh, what did you see? Some seaweed. Oh, <laughs> uh, shit. <laughs> he should have known. Carl should have known. Uh, <laughs> He's, uh, it's not ready yet. <laughs> Thank you. Apple pie? Excellent. 
Really nice. Yeah. It's lovely. Mm. Thank you. Lovely. Do we do we sleep in here tonight? Uh, yeah. Damn. Oh, okay. there's a hole in the roof. Let's get that plastic sheeting on. Do we put the plastic on the outside? Over the top. Yeah. Carl, can you get my case in before it gets wet as well? That's got a hole in it. Hang on, I need a bit more room than that. Look how short that is. Stop moaning. <laughs> Stop moaning. Look at it. There's nothing wrong with this. Of all the people to be moaning about being in a tight space, you're not the one. <laughs> You should have a lot of room. Never seen that before. I've never spoke to someone. Not at all. <laughs> what instrument do you play now? Playing the goat. Never seen that. Properly nicely done as well. Like, it doesn't look it's ropey. Sort of, you know, a dead animal. It looks. Is that a ropey. whole goat? I suppose. Any that. animal that has more reasons to be around mm -hmm. helps it in the long run. I think that's the problem with pandas and things. They haven't got a job, have they? They're dying out and no one cares. Whereas, if you've got an animal that's chipping in, dogs do a lot now. They get blind dogs. Huskies. That's just another job for the girl, isn't it? Does milk, does cheese. Musical instrument. It's good. Got a good tune out of it, had a good dance. Did me bit. You know, they all seem to be enjoying me having a dance with him. It's just Warwick, he looked a bit sort of fed up and not up for it. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> What's that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't know whether he knew that, you know, there was um, that well, there could be sort of issues between me and, and, and gypsies and the fact that they they like to touch me for luck. I don't know. My head seems to be the right <laughs> on me, actually. It's, it's the full body. Isn't quite Good luck. Uh, Tell a few people are getting uh, sly uh, touches in. Uh, like, you sort of coming head. up with reasons to touch his head, sort of going, oh, you've got a fly in your head there. You're sort of rubbing them <laughs> to get a look. Oh, luck, yeah. But I think it's a lot of old bollocks. I've been with <laughs> for a while, and uh, it's pissing me right off. Nice, thank you. <laughs> they rub his head for good luck. <laughs> Gypsies considered little people good luck. Yeah. Been hard work. Interesting. Warwick annoyed me a little bit when we first got in it. I was working my arse off there, dancing around, getting them all excited into it. He sat in here doing fuck all. <laughs> Suddenly, you know, they've shown a bit of interest in him and his Hollywood career and his family and all that. Like he's got his album out. So he is loving that. That's my children. We were in Hollywood. That's. Where the what films? Oh. Harrison, <laughs> Sam, my wife there. Yeah, but we're on holiday. Do you have a holiday? Mm -hmm. You're always on holiday. That's a flag. <laughs> <laughs> it's a bit bad, really. I've got pigeon shoes on, but I've got pigeon shoes on. Pigeon shoes. Brit. What's that? That was last night. We're clutch. You flipped all right, really, considering. I had a cling film for a, a blanket. I think he slept all right. I woke up a few times, he was just there. Just wrapped up, sealed <laughs> all the way around. Like a little samosa. <laughs> so in that way, he is cut out for this. And I've been saying all along that he's not up to it. But if it comes to sleeping in little holes and crevices, he's ideal. <laughs> Hello. Hi. I guess that's the best form of transportation for them. <laughs> when you stop just puffing and panting like that, it's really. I don't want to breathe heavily. <laughs> Stinks of goat shit everywhere. <laughs> right, I've been checking the guidebook. Um, they start I think you might like the Sufi religion, which is very popular here. Um, they practice mystical exercises, you know, to get into a spiritual trance. I think you need to find yourself, Carl. No, really, is not a problem. How is this it? I mean, what have you done that's spiritual? Really? I was hypnotised by Paul McKenna once. <laughs> Hello. Hello there. How are you? Warwick. Carl. Murtaza. Murtaza. Yes. You come in here every day? Yes, yes, yes. I live here. So, what's, sorry, what are these then? This is a... This is a map uh, in, in this place. Oh, what is it? It's not growing to light, is it? It's coffins. Yes. Oh, this is coffins. my grandfather. Mm. He was professor in school. 
who's a professor in school. school yes. Will there be a place for you? To yes, be here? this is my place. This. Yes. Wow. <laughs> dead. Are you happy with that? Are you happy with this as a space? Yes. yes, yes. Hmm. Is that a graveyard? Mm-hmm. But it's. It doesn't feel like a graveyard. It's just something a little bit more. No, it does. It does feel. No, like it's sort of majestic it? somehow. I don't know. I think it's mad. I just want to remember about it. Well, I want stuff in the basement. Wow. It's like a car showroom the way they're all stacked up. I couldn't imagine this ever. Well, it wouldn't catch on. We wouldn't allow it at home. There's no way. You have to get permission to have a conservatory. But why wouldn't we allow it? Well, I don't understand what's what's so odd. You think about when you come to sell it, it people are up there going, oh, this is nice. Oh, oh, what's down here for storage? And you come in here, oh, there's Elsie, there's Auntie, Auntie Jean. I don't know why you can't just accept things for the way they are. You just want to always change stuff. I this has been happening for 150 years like this. I'm not happy with this, I tell you. I would not be happy with this. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Oh, this is for you. Okay. Yes. No, you're like those. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Circles, having a dance, having the, you know, praying, doing the what's the name. <laughs> Suddenly I thought I was going, just doing that thing, doing that. I thought, oh yeah, that's interesting. Like, and bosh, in the face. It oh. knocked me for six. Oh! Oh! If I put one right through here, you showed me all the scars. One here, load here. I don't know, pulling through it's like a game of kaplunk. Why well, he's just sticking shit. Ah. What makes me laugh is when I'm at home, if I get a toothpick and I put it in my mouth and mess with it, Suzanne's going, don't do that, it's dangerous. Ah. Wait until she sees it. If she ever has a go at me again about messing with a toothpick, I'll go watch that. Ah. Damn, where's the blood? <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> Was Warwick nearly sick? I looked down at one point and he was sort of throwing up in his hat. <laughs> it was shocking. I mean, you've got to admit that, seeing it. And then he started saying, like, oh, we better get him out, he's going to be sick on the carpet. <laughs> no, I wasn't. <laughs> I told us he was all right. There was definitely a point when he kept turning around and going, I was worried because there's so many mats in there. If he's sick, about seven mats have to go to the dry cleaners. <laughs> all over the shop. <laughs> I've not seen that on the telly. I've never seen it. Songs <laughs> no. of Praise on a Sunday, yeah. it's well boring. I mean, I'm not, I don't want to see that. I don't see old people dancing around to, you know, Lord's Prayer mm. sticking knives in the head. But does it make any difference? Does it mean they believe in something more because they do that? See no blood either. Mm. Not a drop. So no pain. Mm. It's going well. Um, we're in Macedonia, of course. Um, we went to that religious ceremony yesterday. Yeah, I heard about that. It was a bit full on. <laughs> no girls just sat there with headphones. I'm not really talking. Well, I like what I'm talking about. I thought it was someone that's climbing a bit of a lift. Because actually, I want to do it right Came up here and uh, balloons. So, it'll probably get mad at first, but once you get up there, they love it. All right? Oh, See my you God. Later. Cheers. <laughs> <laughs> is this safe? Of course it is. It's a string. Uh, yeah, electric wires everywhere. 
Oh, he's just fucking stupid. This is Marco Polo route. It's cool. You're going to be weightless. Uh, it's something he went on about ages ago. He kept going on about saying how he'd love to stick me on a load of balloons and get me in the air. It's not normal, is it? Yeah. Mate? Yeah. He's got a parachute. Oh, yeah. Hold the end. Do something. You're here. I haven't seen you do anything yet since we've been away. <laughs> Jump. Enjoyed himself, there isn't a problem. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Yeah, I'm here. Warwick, are you alright? Yeah, no, I'm alright. I did enjoy it though. I mean, it was ridiculous. <laughs> we had the little local kids, they were the safety, they were holding on to the ropes. So anything could have happened. It was windy. It was their best day ever. What if they just let him go and he just kept floating? What would have happened then? He just would have gone up. <laughs> well, yeah. Well, well, but the same thing for me. When Dick Whittington. Oh shit. <laughs> Damn, what the hell? That was it. Yeah. Oh man. Yeah. <laughs> that was dangerous. He could have just kept <laughs> if they would have let go, he would have just kept going. <laughs> oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah, man. Uh Work Work is a great uh co star, man. You know? Yeah. Yeah, I'm liking yeah. it. I'm liking it. Man. Yeah, first I thought, you know, <laughs> I thought Carl would have to you know, carry him, <laughs> carry him around. Yeah. But I think he's got work and hold his own. Oh, definitely, definitely, <laughs> definitely, definitely. He, he enjoyed like him. him. He enjoyed himself in that pleasure. Yeah, pleasure tent. Uh, pleasure machine. Yeah, at the gallo. Except when they were trying to put shit in his mouth. <laughs> yeah, they trying to put shit in his mouth. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they're tasting shit. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> they're getting vibrated and blown in his Casanova. <laughs> uh, Casanova. And Carl the Crying Man. Yeah. <laughs> Epic, man. Yeah. yeah. Carl so, was a little mean to a uh, work in the beginning. He was mean. <laughs> oh, yeah, man. 
He gave him some ice cream. He said, like, can't be doing this all day. <laughs> but I understand, because Carl, the first couple seasons, like, Ricky and Steve put Carl through some shit. Definitely. You know definitely, what I'm saying? Definitely, definitely, it wasn't definitely. that bad. At least the first uh, no, and you, and you know, you know Carl's impressions on little people. You know what I'm saying? He said it like kids. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So it's kind of seemed like he felt like he had to father work <laughs> through this first episode. But nah, man, it was it was uh, it was definitely funny. Yeah, uh, definitely funny. Venice, beautiful place on the lake. I wouldn't want to live on the canal. Water. What's up? I wouldn't be able to do that. That's too much water. Yeah, man. man. Too much Maybe water. Great to visit. Oh yeah, visit you. Yeah. Sure. Yeah, Macedonia and the gypsies kept rubbing his head for good luck. For luck. <laughs> Little people are good luck. Okay. Yeah. Little people are good luck. He's been in, he's, he said he was in why. some movies like Star Wars. Oh, and, uh, yeah. And he said he played a couple gnomes. Yeah. And then, uh, yeah. Yeah, dude. Yeah, okay. yeah, funny, famous dude. Yeah, man. I can't wait for uh, episode number two. Yeah, it's going to be epic. Epic. 